Now I suppose the starting now screen can go. Let's let's kind of go across here. Hi there, Araxi. Welcome on in. Thank you very much. By the way, we have no bot tonight, so the warm welcomes are all going to have to be manual, folks. We're all going to actually have to do this ourselves. Hi there, Kazgen. Thank you very much for that raid. That was a fast raid in. I've only just kicked off. So, yeah. Um, for those who don't know me from Kazi Stream 1, you probably... I think most people do by now. I'm Gareth Hubble. I do mostly some messing around on stream. Occasionally something actually happens. Uh, yeah, Mingsy Rose, we don't have shout outs tonight. We've got no bot. Uh, Voidcamp, may you suggest that I change my resolution to battle 1080 on streaming? Uh, no. Um, I'm not going to have a 4K monitor and drop it to, uh, to 1080p. Um, the... Stream is going out at 1080p. I've zoomed in VS Code, but honestly, what's around VS Code doesn't matter. So I'd, I, I think I'll, I'll carry on at 4K, unless there's a good reason not to. But honestly, what's down here in the black, what's up there, you, you shouldn't care that much about. So as long as everyone can see what's on what's in the text and to be fair i can i can kind of check that out um <laughs> polyphony does shout out yeah kaz at some point i shall have a bot that runs that doesn't depend on my windows partition because i like running bots locally rather than in the cloud anyway we did <laughs> yes no i don't have that module enabled kaz gem i I think all I have is the Thanos snap enabled. And that'll do me. I'm happy with that. So, today, I decided I wanted to download the Skylands modding template and build it in Linux. So, I pulls it down here. I go and do a .NET uh, tool restore. Yeah, that works. .NET restore. Yeah. Not now. Restore uh, that project, and we get a restore. That's fine. Then I go .NET fake, which is all in the docs that I wrote, and this will cry, and it does. By the way, folks, um, just to am I going to build this mod on the new phone just because I can? Uh, no, Mingsy Rose, the new phone might have a bot running on it, though, at some point. Just because Pine phones are funny. It, 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 it still hasn't got to DHL, so it's not going to be here for another week or so yet, at least. Um, so, oh, by the way, that's a point. I need to show you all something. Uh, Monkeytype.com. Let me just set this up quickly, just in case. Oh, it is set up. So the new channel point redemption that we see, folks, and I will zoom that in. There's a new channel point redemption that you should see called Togglebit's Typing Test. Um, Togglebit is a wonderful streamer who di he didn't write monkey type. It's just that he will often do this typing test as well. Um, we we all get to sort of see what our w, what our words per minute's like. So as I'm now using a split keyboard and have been doing for a short while, but I'm still a useless typist. I thought, you know what, I'll join in on this. So this is the toggle bit typing test, and just to give you a baseline of where I'm at now, I'll give you a free run of it. So slash double pipe else car printf Strucump, struct, oh, realloc, float. And you can see that that's 37 words per minute. I, I'm pretty pants at I'm even worse at coffee, um, folks. It's empty. Mingsy, can I have a coffee fairy, please, with decaf? Ha, enjoy uh, Brainless. Thank you very much for dropping by. Thank you very much to everyone who's dropped in. And yeah, this is... So this is the channel point re reward that I've added. Just wanted to make sure that everything was completely clear. 
Uh, you're not leaving, you want to do that. Right, brainless, I'll show you the settings that you use. Switch on punctuation up there, switch on words, 10 words. And then if you hit escape and go, um, go to language, I've got C in there. So there we are. Kaz has redeemed the first one of those. Oh gosh, it's got a very short cooldown on it. That needs changing. Uh, so let's have another go, shall we? Because Kazgem did it. So long union equals f open mal malak struct and void stress. CMP string dot H. Ah. 30, that was a pants one. Yeah, that was what I thought I'd put in. Hi there, Shop Major and Charlie. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you very much for dropping by. Right, how do I quickly go to my channel point redemptions? Right, pro streamers need, needing help here, needing help. Uh, I'm in the dashboard. I'll go community channel points, manage rewards. Yes, I know how to do this. And then I will do that um, quickly. Thank you very much, Mincy Rose. I will go into edit and I can quickly, swiftly make that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 15, I think, is reasonable. You do it differently, yes, Kazjem. I know you do things differently because you'd never do things the normal way, would you? So let me see what the... Um... Yeah, that's better. It's on cooldown for about another 13 minutes. That is much more reasonable, I think. Hang on. Go on, hanging on to what? Why can't yours be the normal way? Because you wrote a program to do it for you, Kazjem. That's why. Oh, hang on. No, click it under chat. Then click the triple dots, manage rewards. Okay, no, yours is a better way of doing it than mine. I'll I'll take that one back. I will take that one back. Yours was the better, cleaner, quicker way. You see, pro streamer, ladies and gentlemen, Kazjem is a pro streamer. I am merely an amateur. As I am also an amateur City Skylines modder. So back to sort of the point. Oh, and I do use a mouse. Yes, I know I'm an i3. I don't care. I'm still going to use a mouse. So this went cry. And this went cry because, oh, look. Of course it's going to cry. All this is wrong. So as I have just a the Linux version here, I can munge with this template all I like. As long as I don't commit and push it. In fact, what I might do is quickly create a new branch, call it Linux for now, and just branch just in case I do commit this. So where is iCities.dll now? I don't know Linux that well, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm probably going to fluff this. Uh, find dot dash name. There is probably a far faster way of doing it, but that will... Yoink! And... Rod there, and let's just say that we put a tilde in front of that. Hope it doesn't cry too much. And we'll see what's happening. We could really do with someone like um, Brainless here, but... Hey, let's give it a go. Let's see if that builds. And we're just going to build at the moment. And it still said no. So if we go CD into SRC. And then do a .NET build from in here. See what goes on there. Uh, the type or namespace colossal framework could not be found. Um, I've saved that. So, okay. Um, home... Gareth for now please please tell me that this is gonna actually work copy paste I really hope I don't have to use uh, proper paths here don't it build and we're built so it's absolute paths that 
irritating. Unless there is something like I'm trying to think how CS project files work. Uh, this is where Kai's Derp exists. Yes, but Gareth Goof doesn't yet. And we're not having it. I'm not counting my goofs. The answer will be a lot. I already know this. So I mean that's that's workable, but it's a bit of a pain. It would be nice if we could sort of have these hint paths inherently so let's just jump across to the googles and cs proj uh, um, and see what we get here because we could just fire this up let's go oh no we don't want that um cs proj alton you know we've done all these uh cs proj variable because it would be nice if we could just build our own so no didn't want the built-in ones ms build properties use environment variables in there passing them oh no we'll not go there avert your eyes i do apologize ms build properties Property group, we stuff it in there. And then how do we use these properties? Because we've just defined it. And then we can do... Well, let's have a guess. Let's play about and just guess at this. Because we can. So, yoink that. And then we'll go back to there. I shall suggest that we have that in there. And I don't know. Um, DLL. Um, well, I don't know. It is managed path uh, there let's grab that in there uh just give me a second folks thank you very much mincy rose and a copy gets delivered thank you ever so much is this a decaf yeah thank you because i'd forgotten to specify and yeah i really don't want that much caffeine tonight that would that would have been silly so please feck so given this i wonder if City is managed path. I wonder how that works. .NET build. And you're going to play nicely. Oh, that's handy. Because then I can just jump across to here and replace those with that. And we now only have to specify one that once. That's already a very big improvement because then we could just tell people, hey, stick your one in there. And it'll be nice because i kind of trust that mod developers have got half an idea of what they're doing although i do wonder with the amount of things that we're asking mod developers to do and this is something i actually want feedback on so if people can either give me feedback or get feedback from other mod developers you know how there are human generators for things um npm dash i dash g yeoman something like that i don't know i don't know how to use npm i'm I, i'm not that smart ah thank you very much being serious i did ask for a decaf coffee well that tells you how much i can remember either way i think this path is going to become useful again because if we go that into our build script we want to uh have an install folder which we'll we'll play about with so let's say that our install dir this doesn't work in um f sharp does it you actually want that kind of comment so let's go for let install folder equal we'll just sprint f um that except it goes 
Common City Skylines add-ons mods. See, it's all copy and paste, folks. All copy and paste where I'm involved. And horrible clicking with mice because I have yet to get to the point where I'm comfortable using Vim all the time. So, hey-ho. So that being said, if I do a cd dot dot and a dot net fake build, then hopefully our mod gets built and installed into the right place. And it doesn't. Uh, error, the default namespace of that must be yada yada yada. Um, uh, get away, stupid thing. So what's it doing? It's using xbuild. Why are we using xbuild? And why have I not got restore in here? Okay. That makes sense for a couple of things. And then install does that. Build goes MS build run release. Oh, okay. I don't think that should be MS build anymore. I think that should be a .NET build. So let's go and jump across to... To actually move that slightly. Uh, fake IO. Um, because I want that to build into the right place still. So let's do some zooming in. Let's go modules.net uh, CLI. Because I want this thing to do dot net dot whatever. Um, dot net dot exec. Oh, do you know what? That would work, wouldn't it? And what's dot net simple? Dot net simple is yeah that lot. Okay. Um. So what else can we do? There's FSI. There's NuGet. There's MS Build. Fifty eight. Excellent brain loss. See, I've never learned how to touch type, by the way. Just just to give you that hint, I never actually learned how to... Brainless, you saw my result. You do not say you feel slow around someone who got a 30 and was quite proud of getting his 30. And I went, yeah, let's not do that. So we're not going to use MS Build here because reasons. So let's see what's in .NET. Um, oh, Kaz, we know you can type. Go on, do it, Kaz. Do it. Because honestly, I don't mind knowing that I am a really slow typist. I know this. I'm, I'm not, you know, that's not my forte. Uh, so let's try something else. Let's do this. Let's do um, a bit more commenting. Yes, I know it's not the right way of doing things. It's also kind of a bit of tough luck because we're playing about. So this is going to be a function that takes naf well takes I don't care what and goes dot net dot exec. And you should now be moaning that dot net doesn't seem to exist. Except it does. No, oh, come on. Why am I not getting nice IntelliSense here? Brainless, you got a message and still chill for 15 minutes before work time. That is wonderful and excellent. Uh, are we doing this with language set C code? Yeah, Voigtkampf. I'm doing this with language set C code, punctuation on, um, and having it as a 10 word test. Just because if I'm doing it every 15 minutes or so, I only want to be doing like 10 words. So, okay. What do we want to do here? We want to run. So that installs the version of .NET. Okay, that's fine. Uh, with work directory, so we can do that kind of nonsense. 
did i also get that weird keyboard uh void camp i've had oh i'll show you the keyboard i've got um matthias a go pro so i've got um let me just make sure i pick the right one because i don't have the 2020 i have the slightly older one i have that one so it's less weird and i've had it a little bit longer but i am a useless useless typist anyway and the switches in this are alps based they're not they're not um cherry but for those of us on on this side of the atlantic it has a proper size enter key it doesn't have that um, the american one it has the proper return and everything is roughly where you expect it to be it's not like really different it's just i'm sorry 87 must be having a slightly off day we did tell you to go for it we expected something silly and we got something very very silly that's fair well done kaz so kaz is in the lead on this one but yeah i mean it, like i say it, it's very much you know the escape key is where escape lives the space bars are where the space bars live the alts are where the alts live Ha! Ah, blub comes in with a 97 is that the same uh the same test blub brainless you need to practice i need to learn how to type was that genuinely a c code run you use type racer right blub monkeytype.com punctuation words 10 and set the language to c code <clears throat> that's that's the test we're doing that's the one we're playing with and by the way folks the reason i've called it toggle bits test is he kind of came up with the idea of us having it as a channel point redemption he is more than happy i've spoken to toggle bit he's more than happy for anyone you know to steal that idea he's not he's not precious on that one so anyone that does programming streams let's have a play with the monkey type test right so .NET exec uh defining with arguments or without so .NET exec uh what's .NET simple it's options .lift. okay let's say we'll have a work directory well we'll have this for now i'm i'm gonna do a lot of copying and pasting uh kaz is normally just over 100 on a really good day with the rhythm going 110 as possible i'm quite happy with my 30 that's that's about as fast as i am so we'll grab that we'll then go dot net exec dot net simple and that'll be build in fact let's give ourselves a working directory instead let's do this one and the reason is i then know that we're going for the correct working why can i not right hang on click shift click uh, let's do it that way let's just steal this We'll stick the D on the end of that. No, no need for the jokes, people. Oh, good, no one did. So we're going to say lift install value, give a working directory of that. .NET simple, so it's not that anymore. It's going to be with work DIR as SRC build. so so far the build is just going to put us in the wrong place but that's fine so the restores up to date where ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. the value type or whatever of install is not there and of course it isn't because 
we didn't force that install, did we? Uh, do we need that to force an install? I don't think we did. Um, yeah, we could do it as an install from there. Dot net dot options dot left. Okay, so let's go dot net. Yeah, um, dot net in here. Are we just not going to get any more docs than this? Like, is that not going to come up for me? Hang on, this is fake four. Uh, excuse I, fake five, please. That makes more sense. Uh, fake dot net, so... Let's do that module, dot net module, let's say build options. This makes more sense. Hang on, this makes more sense. So, uh, Voicam got a 58 this time. They're two different between runs. So 37 and then a 58. Oh yeah, this is just a funny game. We're not trying to do this for anything serious. This is this is utterly silly. Uh, 95 on monkey type. That is good going. Output path. Oh, hello. So we could just go and do this. Uh, fake.net.cli module, there's a build options, uh, I did not want to do that. And then can we do nested types and modules are there, functions and values, .net build with params and project. And project. Okay, do we really need the project though? Um... Let's try something then. So we go dot net dot we kill this off. Dot net dot build um build options dot create and then we'll suggest that that should be SRC slash well, what's our project name? Because we have to grab that, don't we? Uh, mod name? Let's do a sprint F in here then. Source percent S dot CS proj. And the mod name. See if that gives us anything. Well, does does this at least do a build is what I'm wondering. Script is not valid. Nothing left to do. And of course it isn't. Because we need to do that probably. Nope. Have we got to do it that way? Uh, we were expecting a unit, but we have a string to a unit. Where's that? Oh, Pifflet. Let's just uh, do a shove through ignore. See if that helps us, does it? Uh, build options is not defined. Let's try build settings. That might have been more realistic. Uh, create is not defined right. Hang on. It is build options. Which is options to... Oh no, hang on. .NET build set params. Oh, hang on. Is a function of build options to build options. Hello. So what are we expecting here? So we're expecting a function there. Um, 
Okay, so you're a, you take a build options to a build options. So for now, let's just suggest that you're going to take... Um, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Come on. Here we go. Just for now, it'll do. Try that again. And you're saying you're expecting a string to .NET build options to .NET build options. So I've messed up there again. Brainless is calling it a day on 60. 60 is fantastic. Uh, so why does .NET build not want to play nicely? Let's actually go back forward through all of this. to build options which is dotnet build set params then project set params then project so what are you playing at what the deuce is going on here Given a string to string, the type that doesn't match the type string. Really? Am I even using the right version of fake? What version of fake is this? Uh, don't have fake version. Please tell me you're a new one. Yeah. You F sharp make 5.20.3. Oh, hang on. No. No, this shouldn't be proving to be a pain, should it? Set params. What is set params in this case? So, param is that, yeah. Project is that string. So build takes a set params which is just going to do nothing. A string there. And then we're going to just ignore the result because we don't need it. Fifty seven forty four. So fifty seven forty four is here to fifty seven fifty nine which is there hang gone what's going on hang on is that the right move or do we actually take that out oh hang on let's at least make this build happen oh and magically it goes and it's at least where's it crying then Exceptional that, okay. Let's go for this version. Raise if error. MS build has not created the bin log file as expected. Project file doesn't exist that. That is because of that. It was actually already in there, so let's give this another go. Probably shouldn't have done it in the verbose manner that I just did, but sure, why not? And okay, so that builds. And this is where we go and play about with the options here, and we go X with output equals let's say build there so in this build folder there's nothing in theory this could go horribly wrong yeah it doesn't contain an output by the way i think we get this without the um yeah we got it there okay so that'll be output dir i suspect uh python with an average 
faster than C. Ah, uh, you you code more Python though, Brainwash, don't you? Let's give this another go. No, .NET build options does not do that. Okay, so what do you actually have in you? Let's go Control F build options to grab that to go you have its output path what a ridiculous idea but sure why not we'll call it that output path you can go there give this another go and let's hope what why of course an option So we have to do that. Uh, point camp. How's i3? Have I figured out how vertical and horizontal splitting works? You've been using it for a few months or more and you just use tabs. No, I use splits quite a bit, actually. In fact, let's... That's probably not a bad idea if I just sort of pull this out. Well, in fact, let's put it back in that mode because I want that and that the same. So let's just do that and let's do that are you thinking things like that we camp because yeah I, I i've got some idea of how to do that in fairness i'm not using i didn't use my um config from my laptop i wonder if that'd be just a little bit nicer there so got nothing left to do that is building what does worry me is that that build folder isn't getting anything in it so let's go uh cd code ls ah okay so the double dot i didn't need to do or um dash r build Cool. That fixes that problem. And now that shouldn't be it, that. It should just be dot slash build because it's running there. And I've got a mouse freeze. Right, hang on. So I think I've got a keyboard mess up as well. Let's unplug and replug that in. Okay, so keyboard is fine, mouse is back fine, excellent. So I'll just save that, give you another go. Have a look up in this build folder. And we should see that the build should just go through and it goes through in there. So if we take the dash T build off and we just do that build as normal, it should install the mod. If we go across to screen Oh, I'm on. Let's go and fire up Skylines just in case anyone's wondering. I have got this as uh, no workshop. So I'm not going to be installing anything out of the work. I'm not going to be using workshop stuff. So this should go a bit quicker. If we spin this up, let's spin up Skylines. See, I knew you'd all uh, the Skylines people might like this. I am in that game at some point. Kaz, I agree that Workshop is glorious and wondrous and perfect and beautiful and all of the other words that you love to use, but you cannot deny that this loads up a heck of a lot quicker. Let's not have so much desktop audio there. Let's go mods. Let's go. Ah, my mod hasn't installed into here. Okay, that's not good. Why is this mod not where I wanted it to be? So where should the mods go on Linuxy Skylines? Because I'm chucking them in there. Let's have a go at this. Copy. Uh, don't worry, Minty Rose. I'm, I'm doing that on Windows. uh let's try that oh gosh there's a dot in there a 
Go on, I'll get there. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, time for Brainless to jump to a work session. Is it a meeting or is it going to be something productive? I hope it's something productive. Yeah, no, Mingsy, I'm, I'm not going to try and do it, do a, a serious stream on reasonably untested stuff. Yes, we will miss you hugely, Brainless Society. Immensely, in fact. Humongously. So that might not have been great, right? Is he gone now? Right, we, we, we can talk about him. Excellent. Uh, bye, Brainless. So that path to change extension to that doesn't do what I hoped it did. Um, that's a shame. So how do I remove extension an extension from a path? Um, in fact, let's go. In fact, because this worked in Windows, I think. Um, F sharp remove path extension. Let's just make sure that this is a good thing first. And. Do you know what? We could just use path.get file name without extension. Where do you exist? You are in .NET uh, path.get file name without extension. And you exist in .NET 5 and other versions. And by that, .NET 5, .NET Framework 1.1, .NET Standard 1.0, Netcore 1.0. Oh, God, it, it's old enough that I'm prepared to go with it. Which I know means uh, we have to open. In fact, where is that path located? Where is path? You are in system.io. Oh, let's just clarify where this is. System IO path. Because that might work better. Uh, just you and a friend working. He's working on the Android app while you're on the back end, so you need to coordinate. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, Minxy Rose, you had a hilarious idea. I need to know about this hilarious idea. Okay, again, I suspect that I need to do the F-sharp brackets there. And that's going to go for it. It's installed into there. That This might be the wrong folder in Linux, you know. Let's just double check this. Um, cities, sky, lines, mod. Modding, because... There's a wonderful wiki here. Uh, da, da, da. Let's do this. Let's say developer guides. Modding API is a thing. Huh? Oh, yeah, we have to do the cookies. I really don't need to know. Oh, Mingsy Rose, that doesn't... That ain't going to watch with me. Local share. Colossal order. Okay. So what we're saying is local share colossal uh, order. Ooh, this is interesting. Yes. Okay, so let's that's our skylines mod from here. Let's remove that. Oh no, Mingsy Rose, I do need to know this. And Casgem, don't don't go there, because believe me, I have hilarious ideas as well. I, I can be I can be pretty fun and evil. So what are we saying? This is in uh colossal order rather than in application uh colossal order rather than steam steam apps common. So let's suggest that. Let's have another build of this. And then we'll look at what can be backported across. Sorry, what now? 
So that's built and in theory installed. Let's fire Skylines up and see if built and installed actually means anything. Give that a quick play. And I will swap songs quickly. Minx Heroes don't whisper Kaz Gem. Send him, send him a... Actually, no, do whisper him. Whisper him that idea on Twitch. He'll never see it. Okay, content manager. Mods. Hey! Our own mod has arrived. And, yep, it's working. Excellent. Only for cool people. So, why do you get it? <laughs> or like Minx and Kaz wife. Or like Minx and Kaz wife. Hmm. I can't read that well either. To be fair, Kaz. Calling Minxie cool. I mean, sure. Go with it. But you know, you know it's you and I who are the cool ones. You know this, don't you? You know it's us. Right. How much of this is back portable? Now, I would say that this will still all work the same way. I would say that, that is a hundred. This is a hundred percent back portable. Yeah, Kazwife, he called you cool. He was he, he was rude. Make that look a bit prettier. And again, the install folder. Well, this is interesting because we need to now look at. Do we do a Windows? And a Linux install folder here. You wasn't rude. You was truthful. Are you sure, Kasia? All right. I mean, go for it. I think you're creeping. I think if you're being nice to Kaz's wife and Minxie Rose, you're creeping over something. You want something. What is it you want? While I'm sitting here drinking decaffeinated coffee. That's right. I like coffee that much that I am drinking it of an evening without getting the effect of it because I like the taste. No one's having to force coffee down me. <clears throat> so, next up, we've, we've got to sort of reconcile this. And obviously in here, we have to reconcile this as well. And of course, this is, well, let's, let's kind of go back to the, can we use home here? So MS build, um, properties. Let's see what built in ones there are. Uh, there are reserved ones, reserved and well-known properties. Is there a... Um, all right. Hint path. CS proj. Let's see if this gives us any ideas. Uh, hint path. Is. Hi there, toggle bit. How are you doing? What are we reconciling? We're reconciling. I don't know what we're reconciling. The time for boggling is now. Oh, Toggle, let me just prove a point. Let me prove something to uh, to the Mr. Toggle bit. Because I can. Yes, I've swapped. Had to do it. So, this hint path. Okay, so... Output path. Okay, so where the devil... Can I get to uh, MS build home, home directory? You see a bright future for me, do you? Yeah, no, the Pine phone has yet to arrive. Oh, God, it's back available. Oh, I shouldn't have owned up to that, should I? Um, yeah, the Pine phone has been dispatched to DHL. DHL have yet to receive it, so... Um, Interesting. Common macros for MS build commands and properties. Go on, give us a clue. 
Have I got a home directory in here? Have I got anything so lovely? Or is it going to be utterly ridiculously useless? Yeah, it's going to be useless. Some rando at DHL is playing with my phone. Do you know what? That why 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 does that even surprise anyone anymore? User profile doesn't exist. User profile, I don't really care that much. Uh, so, oh, actually, user profile might be the correct one. Oh, there's a dollar home. Okay, dollar home. Dear, ah, la, la. hello. Okay, this becomes interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, cash gem is always cash gem is truthful. I will, I will say that he is always truthful. So let's grab this in here. And yes, yucky XML is yucky. Uh, excuse my, excuse I. I want you to format. Hmm. Okay. Do it manually. Uh, so we can grab that. That gives us a home DIR that I can just shove sort of there-ish. Gets rid of that problem, hopefully. <clears throat> uh, it was coming from China. Yes, Wingsy Rose. Well, coming from Hong Kong via China. <laughs> It'd be quicker if you'd ask the outlaws to pick it up and send it. You're probably not wrong. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. Install the IR would not be defined, would it? Because I've kind of... Well, install folder. Because I kind of uh, did a thing there. So let's have another go. We'll have this go. The compilation's happening. It's all being nice and wonderful and compiled. Ooh, excellent. Do we make him race? Uh, do you know what? I think given the closed borders and the current um, world health climate, I'm going to advise that we don't do that. I know. I'm a spoil sport and I'm spoopy. I am aware of these facts. <laughs> By the way, for anyone who doesn't know Togglebit, Togglebit is the reason that that new stupid point redemption's there. Uh, Cash Gem gets clipped for later. Wait, what, what am I clipping? What are we clipping? By the way, if you do clip anything, start... Most people here are in the Discord or have got some way of chatting to me. If you're going to start doing clips, drop them in the Discord, please. You can't even afford it. Oh, Togglebit. Can we have can we have Fs in chat for Togglebit? Hang on. If you follow, you get 300. You're not going to be far off. Togglebit is... Hey, hang on a second. No, Minxie Rose, I know that Togglebit is the mayor of... Uh, lives in Florpsylvania. Didn't know that Togglebit lived in Flo was the mayor of Florpsylvania. Uh, Cash Gem's got plenty of points to it. Oh, Cash Gem. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Let's show how bad I am at typing. So it's 10 words, C code with punctuation. Why am I doing this? Clickety click. Oh, and it gives me symbols. Really? Include define switch f close f scan f double f open static ah 37 who i want this over 40 at some point i want to actually do something reasonable no there was one at the end uh, I didn't get the full stop at the end. I got a slash instead. That final full stop was a scam. Yeah, it wasn't legit, Toggle. We know that. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, Kazjem, for giving Toggle bit those uh, those things. That was some good typing. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> Remember, I've got a split keyboard that's a lot, lot more like a normal keyboard than yours is. Because yours is one of these Moonlander things, isn't it? Hang on. 
Moonlander. Oh god, what's Cash Gem clipped? Given that I have um Given that I've clipped some interesting things that Cash Gem said, I dread to think. So yeah, Toggle, you've got this weird I, I, where's your space bar? There should be a bar there for space. Whereas what I did was I I, I wimped out. I just got the uh Matthias Ergo Pro, I got this one. So as you can see, uh you blinked space. Red is space, you believe. Well, trick question. Because space is wherever you define it to be, it's remappable. But yeah, I got one with, let's call it a more conventional layout. And by the way, welcome on in, Elliot Troop. Go home. Almost, it's just the left of the red key. So, there? I mean, I suppose that one would make a lot of sense, actually, because your thumb would rest there. Yeah, that's roughly where my thumb is for a space. Yeah, it's fine. Go with it. And by the way, just to sort of remind everyone, because I know a few new people have come in, this isn't my normal i3 um, config. Well, yeah, well, the one I've just quit the page on, the the one I've got, the um, Matthias Ergo Pro, I think there's one on Amazon now. So this thing has got a normal layout. Okay, these this might be the American one. But yeah, very normal layout. No, that's not normal. Why are you claiming that this is not normal? I mean, this is normal American. I've got it with normal British. So what's what's not normal about that one? Because it's it's pretty close. What's uh, go on? I I I'm I'm going to wait for a moment. Will or you just have a different version of normal? Uh, the difference between normal UK and the normal versus the normal US is that the normal UK comes with the Yorkshire pudding. Toggle bit, it comes with a proper end key as well, not one of them thin long ones. Yeah, you know what they are. Uh, Kaz can't do split. Kaz, you could do split. It would take a while to learn. Shift 2 is double quote, yeah. That 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 is correct. That is what it should all be. Uh, the lever button size looked a bit big. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know I the number pad I used to think would be a real issue, and it really really isn't. To the point that I did have a portable one that I stuck in the middle of the keyboard. Never used it, so I got rid of it. The arrow keys are isolated enough. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway. Oh, we have this running. C989M. I, I... Go on. No, uh, no. C989M. Tell you what, let's put... Let's get the right one. Hi there, Fuberius. How you doing? Welcome on in. That's a, oh my god! That's a, that's 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 a thing. That's a beast. That wouldn't fit on my desk. I mean, it might, but there'd be no room to use a mouse. And yes, I know mice are optional to some people. I'm not one of those. No, that's that's just ridiculous. Split keyboards, yes, Fuberius, I have a split keyboard. Casgem, I also need more test space. At the moment, the rail driver is down to my side. I have to lift it up and put it on the desk when I want to use it. By the way, just for a size thing, this rail driver really isn't actually that big. It's like, it's smaller than a normal keyboard. 
but oh, there's some weight in it. Yeah, exactly, Kaz. Uh, talk a bit. That is a rail driver. So if you want to play train simulation games, that is a controller that you can do it um, do it with instead of having to use keyboard and mouse. Yeah, it. I I did warn you, Kaz. That is, it's not a big device. It it's really compact and very very well built. So go on. What do you want next, Kazjam? Tell tell the class. What's your next purchase? Now you've seen it all. No, no, no. Toggle, you have not seen it all yet. I have no idea the peripherals you own. Uh, Kaz, I may or may not have a Logitech G27 wheel upstairs with pedals and proper manual gearbox shifter thing because, I'm sorry, I don't drive automatic. I may have... An exercise bike under my desk that never gets used. That's a channel point reward. Oh, I've come up with something that's that I'm gonna hate everyone for. Oh, I need to get a new one of these before I do that. Because all the grip's gone. If I get a new one of these little low, little exercise bike things, I might let you guys make me ride it for a couple of minutes on stream. That might be a thing. Oh yeah, two amigas, a monitor. Berries has been typing on an old Apple wireless keyboard for many years. It must not break ever or you'll have a problem. Um, I mean, it's an old Apple keyboard, so as long as you don't throw it out of an eighth floor window, out of a seventh, it should survive and just dent the pavement. But an eighth floor, it could become difficult. So let's, let's not remind people that monkey type exists. So here's the fun thing. We've got the Windows install folder and the Linux you want. So. And again, that's. Let's. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something we can do here. Let me just kill that off again for a second. Because we can get environment variables, can't we? So we can get home. So if I do that again, it should just work nicely. I kind of assert it should have done that. Let's prove that it installs nicely by just changing. It's working uh, with EMV. Why not? Let's rebuild that and see if it happens. So, on your desk, Kazem, you have a Razor Black Widow Ultimate. I know what one of them is. It's a clicky clicky keyboard. Razor Orb Weaver. Never heard of it. Logitech G13 Gaming Keypad. Never heard of it. Razor Naga. Mouse. Stream Deck. Need an XL. Kaz, I need an XL as well. I agree with that. Two audio interfaces. A mix of three USB hubs. An 87 key keyboard on your hot swap shelf. The farming sim stuff. A joystick, a drum pad, three MIDI controls of various size. So what you're saying, Kaz, is you have sufficient. Let's fire this mob back up, see if it runs, see if it works. Because at some point, what we actually ought to do... <laughs> no, we at lol. Silent mechanical. Silent, silent, but tactile. Clicky is not the, the answer. Especially not if you're a streamer. Thou shalt not stream clicks. No, yes, brown. Cherry browns or the Alps equivalent. Reds. Yeah, I, I don't like linear. I don't like linear. Yeah, I mean, I have got. A keyboard with blues on i've got one with browns on but the split is these alps matthias things anyway let's see oh god this is horrendously loud uh can i just go and do that for now thanking you content manager let's go to mods let's enable that one it's working with them okay so that environment thing is working quit that cool 
Well, well, join the dark side, embrace the clicky. Um, how does the word no sound to that? And the reason is misophonia. I cannot stand that sound. That sound literally hurts my ears. I spent many, many hundred pounds on a new graphics card just to eliminate those sounds from other people. I didn't need anything more than a 970. But I managed to get a graphics card with RTX voice. And it is godlike. Uh, no, it's not even fine when I'm the one doing the, doing the clicking. I just do... Nope. 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 That indeed. So, on intro loaded, on level loaded, and on enabled. And... What other overloads are there going to be? Uh, I wonder actually if the Unity uh, tools, code snippets. Uh, okay, we've got the debugger. That's fine. What else can I grab to help VS Code and Unity work nicely together? So I'm wondering, I think there is like an extension that does. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. The Orb Weaver is a 25 key ergonomic keypad to your left. The G13 is a 24 ergonomic keypad to, to the left as well for macro keys. Oh, God. Cash, um, uh, uh, Have you ever thought about just getting at other keyboard as a macro keyboard? You know, plugging multiple keyboards into one computer. It is doable. It is jank AF. But as we all know that you are the leader of the jank police, that's fine. You can get away with it. Uh, Unity debugger. Yeah, it's, I'm not going to prat about with this. So can we have a mod that goes sort of, well, what's loading extension base? On created. What's that going to do? So what I'd like to do is try and make the, um, what's it work? The assembly, uh, the, the hot reloading. Which I think would be cool. In fact, let's, let's give it a go. So in here, I'm going to want an attribute, aren't I? I'm going to want a se uh, assembly assembly version one point zero point star you're gonna tell me i can't do that unless i have that in there that's fine and it might be an idea to put some quotes around that which we just did Hi there, that guy with the tumor. Thank you very much for that raid. Uh, welcome on in. For those who don't know me, I'm Gareth Hubble. I occasionally, well, if you're there with that guy with the tuba, you, what, what have you been playing that guy with the tuba? Because I don't have commands tonight. So please do tell us what that guy with the tuba has been playing. And remember, everyone, there is, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm definitely going to, uh, promote this remember everyone for those who are interested may be interested and all the rest of it what uh there is an event called cities in a snap tomorrow night are you are playing some star wars the old republic for the day if i got that right you need to applaud me people because i don't star wars so welcome on in everyone i've probably just alienated everyone by saying that i don't star wars but hey ho i got it right yay that is excellent. You see, Kaz Gem's teaching me things. He's trying to teach me about um, Star Wars at times. So is Minx and Rose. I think they're both rather ra rather cruel. So we've got that involved. And what is Cities in a Snap? That is an excellent question, Minx and Rose. It is a two-hour building competition, city building competition in City Skylines, the game that we're modding at the moment. And yes, it's two hours, not three, not four, not five. No, it is only two hours. 
Is it an official event? I think it is officially an event, even though it's not officially by Paradox. One can but hope. If you, if you want Cities in a Sky, Cities in a Snap, to become an official Paradox event, is it not? Oh, uh, can, uh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you about to drop something on this stream? Go on, let's have the exclusive. Let's have the exclusive, Cash Jam. Nope. Nah, I thought not. I was going to say, I didn't think it was Paradox sponsored. I didn't think Lost Lord or Paradox were actually, you know, making it their official event yet. Um, again, if, if people want that, please do... Uh, do let them know. Don't don't harass them, but let let them know. Make sure they're aware. Um, should be a fiver event. That guy with the tuba. Do you want to be? Um, do you really want to be editing five hour event videos with me flopping up whenever I commentate in it, or fluffing up? No. The correct length of time to build a city in Citizen Snap is longer than you have. We've already we've already seen people in the extended version go, oh, one week wasn't enough. I'm like, we have to do it in two hours in the mainline event. A week is plenty. That's 168 hours. Oh no, sorry, they do they do it in six days. So it's not 168 hours, it's 144 hours, something like that. Six twenty-four. Yeah, 144 hours. That is 72 times longer than Cities in the Snap the Mainline. You've got time! <laughs> of course I say that, I haven't taken part yet. But yes, there is a Cities in a Snap extended event where you get, what, about six days? Uh, that guy with the two with the extended edition is great, but you'd like to see more speed events? Hint, hint, 30 minute or one hour event. Well, the, 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 I mean, you could speak to the organiser of the event or, you know, I don't know. There is somewhere, and if Kasjan wants to post this link, there is an anonymous feedback form. If you want to provide feedback on Cities in a Snap, on any of the events that they do or do not hold as yet, please do fill in that anonymous feedback form. The feedback will be treated with the respect that it deserves. Uh, no, sorry, actually, no, it'll, it'll be actually taken seriously. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Uh, Togabit needs to head off. Uh, good night, Togabit. Thank you very much for dropping by. Um, and thank you for, well, yeah, dropping by and all the rest of it. Uh, oh, you speak to him all the time. If only he'd listen. That guy with the tuba. That's... Yeah, that's, I have the same problem. I boggle tit. I knew Minx he was going to do that one. Would I believe only nine people have filled it out? Yes, Kazgem, because some of us are willing to actually talk to you to your face. I'm not going to fill out an anonymous feedback form because I'm going to DM you on Discord and nag the living daylights out of you because that's the way I am. So there, it's true. It is true. And we now have the assembly version stuff in here. So if I were to build something into this, and I'm not going to do it now, but if I were to build something into this, oh, look, things I can take out. If I were to build something into this that was UI based, I could probably get the hot reloading working. Yeah, you see, Kaz's wife doesn't need an alarm form. You know, you'll, you'll tell Kaz. Yeah, that is excellent news. Right, let's do a build. Let's make sure that I haven't deleted something important. And you know what? I haven't. So let's go to the fake, uh, fake.io. Let's go to uh, API docs, but this time we will remember to go to do, 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 fake five API reference. At which point, let's suggest uh, control F. Is there a platform operating uh, OS? Windows, fake dot Windows, fake dot whatever, K Linux. If I learn how to type using Word, Minx's feedback to date 
Yes. Using word? No, Ming Zero's using word. They are. Kaz said it as well. Uh, can I check? Okay, environment. That's just... Ah, is Windows, is Unix. Okay, there's a thing here. So let's say, let, win, let, in, let Windows install folder is that, let Linux install folder is that, let's use reasonable conventions here, people. Well, reasonable F-sharp ones. And then let's suggest that we go, let Linux install folder, uh, let install folder, sorry, equals. Hi there, Holy Sorry for Mon, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, catch up some Minxy joke. Oh, God. I'm going to end up hearing this. If environment dot is Windows, then Windows install folder, else Linux, Linux install folder. Yes, I am not supporting Mac stuff. I don't have a Mac that is anywhere near modern. So, sorry if if you're wanting to write mods on a Mac, that's probably gonna be, well, something for someone else. And yeah, we could do con conditional compilation and all that malarkey. Mac is like two percent of the populace at most, anyways. I think Mac is more than Linux to some degree, but sure. Oh god. I, I'm I'm dreading finding out what this pun is. Or oh, joke. Fuberius is offended right now. Oh Fuberius, you I mean I could go and do the is Mac. The problem is if I just whack in the install folder for Mac without testing it and it doesn't work, I'm going to appear to be a bit of a jerk. So what we've done here is made this cross platform. And actually we can go on further. Because what we could do is in here, um, how do I check the profile in MS build? Uh, check the OS. OS build operating system. Are you going to tell me what the OS is? Is it going to be nice to us? Aha, we have this. Okay. So cities manage path, if we're not Windows NT as that, and if we are Windows NT, it needs to be the other one, which was... Ah, <laughs> Kajem sent it to me. How have you sent it to me? Is it in a way... You haven't sent it on Discord. That much I do know. I haven't got it on Discord. Have you have you sent it on Twitch? Because that means I've got to actually look at Twitch whispers. You have, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> I think I made a pun rather similar there. <laughs> I think I made a similar. I think I think Minxie and I have made very very similar puns. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, about having about having them to stand on and think yeah no we're, we're not going there but yeah that put a hat to be made um i mean especially since i told you the one that i told you on yeah I, uh, uh, oh dear right um I, I, we're getting off that subject because i'm going to say things that's gonna that are going to become regrettable on Windows, we have a different path, don't we? Let's go back to the um, Cities Modding API wiki thing. Uh, file location for mods. Yeah, that's cool. Where is the... Where is that? Well, it's in Steam folder, Steam apps. Okay. I think we can reasonably... Oh. 
That is the devil did control C not work there. C R program files x86 steam it's going to be there that is roughly where the steam what says and of course we take out that dll name and i kind of assert that with this to be entirely honest, we don't use the home directory anywhere else so we can simplify this we can just say you know what we know that this isn't windows so we don't care about that nonsense and at that point we have that set up so we have the cities managed path either being the linux e1 or the windows e1 these are all for default cities installations if you're not going to use default cities installations it's not gonna work well and there's the reference assemblies i think it was brainless that was bothered about this so maybe should have spoke to him about this while he was here but yeah that's how we're getting the um, .NET 3.5 reference assemblies. Which is always uh, always a good call. Just because you don't have to install them. So if I now do a .NET fake build here, everything should work. Last restore was up to date. Uh, and that's worked. So I make the reasonable assumption that we can just add and push this i bet i oh do you know what i'm gonna see if i can go and oh i need to add a dot git ignore in here okay does this really not have a dot git ignore file it does build slash double star yeah okay source ah hang on it matters that matters what does dot config have in it yep that's legit that's more reasonable um works on linux you uh should be cross platform So we'll do that commit. Yeah, we always do that. Go away. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to let me do that. Okay, GH has got just those. Can I just do a quick sort of setting all of this stuff up? I can't, can I? No, knickers. Commit all. Open get log. Here we go. Tell how much I haven't used this machine, can't you? Uh, let's stick an email address in. Uh, user dot name. Next. And this is uh, mine. So they can go in. And if we stuff that commit back in, it's gone in. I'll bet you get push doesn't work though. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to set the upstream, don't we? Why am I trying to type this? I, I get enough typing practice already. So we'll do that. We're going to push. Uh, the thing you teased about has been published now. Where has it been published, Kaz? Do you fancy dropping a link? Uh, hang on. Uh, there's an announcement in there. Oh. Oh, excellent. Oh, I am definitely in with that. Folks, if you're not in the Cities in a Snap Discord, get yourselves in there. Because, yeah, I, I might actually be in on that. I might have a way of, of doing that. 
In fact, Kaz, why don't we, from the however many participants we've got tomorrow night, why don't we do that on stream as well and record it from the Citizen Snap stream? Because I think it'd be really cool to get us all saying happy birthday at once. I think we need to do that. Right, so, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You need to publicise the snot out of that. That needs to go big. That needs to go very, very, very big. Right, so we are committed up. So we actually have a City Skylines mod that works if you've got default installs in both Linux or Windows as a modding template. I think that's pretty cool. Let me just double check the readme to make sure it all works. .NET tool restore, yeah. Renaming that should still work. .NET tool restore to get the tools. .NET fake build, build. .NET fake build to install. Um, we'll install it in. I think we should probably stick a link up to here. Going um, for more information on building mods please see the mod modding api and if i can remember right does anyone know how to dis how to mark now because i don't have a flaming clue what order the brackets go in and what goes where so let's guess it Let's say that it might be that. And do I have a markdown anything on here? I have a markdown open preview. Name URL. So I got the brackets correct, but the order wrong. Okay. Thank you very much for various. And that's looking more realistic. And it is com it is actually correct. Okay. Kaz we got it right now it's fine uh so let's just throw another commit in going update read me with uh read me with link to modding api commit that and let's give that a pushy push so i'm refusing to reboot into windows for tonight that would be silly hi there for various ah yes yes thank you very much for carrying this part of the stream and of course your chiropractor's bill cannot be paid at this time by us nor will it ever be paid as your carrying is for free Uh, I have to love how Kaz has added everyone and then added roles as well as everyone. It's like, no, we've already been we've already been tagged in this. Probably for damn pandemic reasons, you understand. No. No. Because this stream makes me the grand total of sweet FA. That's that's why. And even if it did, I'd probably keep it. I mean, why would I not? Right, so let's let's sort of bomb out of there. Let me nip across to here and change that. So I think what's probably a good idea is we have been live for an hour and a half. So I am going to oh I don't know, let's let's do this. Um alert taking a short break um to make coffee so there we are that's that's the break screen for today uh i'm gonna be mute the mic and get rid of the camera i will be back in a few minutes i am going to roll an advert it's going to be a three minute one that is purely because i know what um twitch are like they really like the idea of having adverts so Trust me, you're missing nothing. I will see you very, very soon. 
thank you all very much and make sure to get up get have a break have a wander around and just generally hydrate hello folks i might be back by the way i keep forgetting i haven't been keeping on track of what i should have been so let me say thank you to that guy with the tuba ruby legend tv for their follows so far this evening thank you very much folks okay so we've got the coffee made resuming soon thing done okay uh let's jump back across so are we going to build a mod using this i think we need to uh kaz no kaz you need to not run away good sir you need to be here we 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 need to uh i need to i need to wrangle you right let me do a thing let me see if i've got anything decompiler like on linux uh c sharp d uh do i need a decompiler i probably actually don't do it uh in the distance nope no cas come back come back here come back here you might be needed for this you might be useful you might you might have some fun here well if he, if he's not going to come back i mean you know let's uh let's copy this into well let's now that we've got the linux template let's copy that let's make a new name for it uh let's call it something like um cities uh blah, blah, blah. cities sockets because that's what we're going to be dealing with a lot and if i go and swap to open folder that one we have a new um or so let's change the name of this to cities socket and let's go and rm dash r the dot get folder all right let's stick the f in rm dash r f so we now aren't in a git repo let's fix that get in it we're here and yes of course the default branch name is up for change so let's go and change that to main and git branch dash m main for this one as well and we're on the main branch and we're called city sockets and given that it'll go into the right folder when we do a build excellent so we don't need the unenabled stuff because i don't really care except it tells us that on intro loaded on level loaded we get we get things for loading managers okay that's fair However, I thought on lo loading extension base had on level loaded here. Yeah, it does. So we shouldn't need to do all of that. Um, okay, here's, here's an idea then. We're not going to show a modal anymore. We're definitely not going to do it on here um that unenabled doesn't need to happen so let's get rid of it so are we currently let's get that out of the way are we currently loading or are we null in which case add these things in and these handlers should all work and they're only going to fire off once okay so that show doesn't need to exist anymore this is not going to be 
not going to have those in. The name is probably going to be just Cities Sockets. The description is going to be uh, Expose is a socket interface to City Skylines. Cool. So I've got the name and the description done. And now I want to have a look at sockets in .NET. Ideally, let's hope that this thinks that it's um, event-driven. Uh, so we connect the socket. We've got send and receive. And we do a main. Can we listen to a socket? Yes, we kind of can. Okay, socket programming in C sharp. These might be too new for us. Uh, continue with cookies, whatever. So we create a listener. Okay, so there's some work here. Uh, that was the bit I didn't want to see. Um, Sockets in .NET events. Let's see if we can do it with events. Are you the server? If you are, you listen for one, then call begin receive. So async client network programming. Uh, let's look for server in here. Serverless is no good whatsoever. For a C sharp uh, socket async event args class. Now here's the problem with it being async. Are we going to have access to it in what is essentially 3.5? Or shall we try something? Shall we see what happens if I roll this back? Yeah, we're not going to roll that back. Um, shall we see what happens if we try for a new version of .NET? I can't see it working. Asynchronous server socket example. So start listening, avoid uh, accept callback, send, send callback. Oh my word. This is all callback, isn't it? Is there, are there any events in this? Start listening goes while true. Do that. I don't like this. Because I've got to try and find, get this in somewhere. Um... Unity network programming. Unity must have something in here. Uh, unit is deprecated. Uh, see that blog post. So they're going to suggest a new layout. Multiplayer there. Game server hosting. Yada, yada, yada. Just want to see if they do an event-based one. Because this could be... Well, I'll tell you what, let's not. Let's do this another way. Let's take an alternative approach. Where I'm going to have to grab a debug mod, I think. Uh, modding API. Let's see if... Interfacing with the Unity engine is there. Yeah. Skeleton source. Have a glance at this, see what they've got for a skeleton mod. Because I think they've got a reasonably old style project. Uh, view code, skeleton source, my what are oh, my eye whatevers. Okay, so we've got demand economy, whatever. Can we get something of more interest to us? I wonder how many people are going to work out what this is. 
probably one or two. Okay, so cameras and road junctions are there. There's eye camera stuff. There's built in routines, world objects. We'll be building what the devil is going on this little camera, isn't it? That's fine. We've got simulation speeds paused. All of that. So debugging here, what are they going to say? Um, by adding those, we can use debug output panel dot add message. So and we can use F7 to open the end game console. Um, there isn't an update or anything, is there? Let's see. So main thread is on created, main thread is on released. Everything else is my ma managers managers. Can I just throw a thread together that loops things? Because I honestly don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, I th ooh hello I threading. Simulation tick, simulation. So let's say, oh, hello, hang on. Thread main, I threading extension. So we could say that this is an I threading extension and say on after simulation frame, on after simulation tick. Um, so let's let's try something. Let's say I threading extension. We now don't import ah hang on. Let's not do this. Let's do uh I don't know logger which is gonna be an uh a threading extension base just so that it inherits everything for us we're not going to bother with a uh constructor and what we are going to do i think is go um override void on oh which one should we do for now on after simulation tick we'll do that and then we'll do debug output panel Tick tock. Why not? And you need a plugin manager dot message type as well, don't you? Which what is a plugin manager message type? Let's go back to um there. Are you gonna help me at all? You are not ah plugin manager dot message type dot message that'll do plugin manager dot message type dot message why not plugin manager doesn't exist it does now and then how do we instantiate and use our um our class i do actually well now i don't have a mod that does this kind of thing because the mod i built before was not like this one it used harmony and at the moment i'm trying to not use harmony until i do So how do we sort of use iThreading? So starting a mod, yay, and do that, okay. Basic snippets. Custom loader. Okay, so instantiate a custom object. 
which is a custom component. Why is that game object? Oh, build a game object. Okay. Uh, do I need to knock Dark Reader off on this page? What does that do? Ooh, no, I don't need to do that at all. That was bad. All right, let's get this a little bit more interesting. So this will just print a string when the level is loaded. Uh, custom component, which is that, goes there. That on start will do that. Okay, so we could probably do something like, um, on level loaded, do something like... Um, Why is this not update? Oh, hang on. Public. Public. Override. On level loaded, load mode of mode. We'll do that. We'll go var game. Uh, game. Object. Equals new. New. Game object and this is where we do need to do it test object okay you're now going to moan and say you need that that's fine by me and then we're going to say game object add component of logger and you're going to moan because I don't know actually. Skyline's logger cannot be used as the add component because you're a threading extension base, not a lo uh custom component. Custom component is a mono behavior. Okay. So what do we do for a threading extension base? Um Threading extension base, let's see. I'll bet we don't get much. Oh, hang on. Nope. That gives us absolutely diddly. Okay, this is... Oh, hello. We have tutorial. This might be the boat former tutorial. So we're going to say, oh, yeah, that's the IR spy stuff. To grab that, if I go um, threaded, threading hooks. So that's how we get that hook. And then how do we load that in? Um, or is it just a thing that happens? Do I even need to do that? Or is that just a it's there so it works? Um, let's give this a go. Let's see if the it's there so it should work idea is viable. So let's go .NET fake build. And then we'll try and fire this up in something reasonable. Like, I don't know, a game. Uh, da, 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 that build went out. Why are projects having trouble loading? We don't need to. Oh, yeah. I know why that is. Because we changed it. So, this in mind, let's go back to... Let's go back to the correct desktop. Let's fire Skylines up. And we should, should get this here mod. So I'm going to load the mod and then just fire up a new game. And see what we get here. The idea being is I would love to see... Okay, so that's working. That's fine. We can actually disable that mod. And we will enable the City Socket mod. Uh, continue game, why not? So 
see what happens here. See, we haven't even got loading screen mod enabled. We've got the grand sum total of nothing. So hopefully this doesn't take forever and a day. I mean, it still might. There's still an option there. But let's hope. <clears throat> and yes, before anyone asks, you can do C sharp in Vim. It, it it works. It's just I can't be fiddled yet. And I absolutely stress the word yet in all of that. Because I'm sure at some point I am going to get roped into it. And Le Crash. Now this is what happens a lot of the time. I think one of the first things is let's not do this on after simulation tick. Let's go and see what other options we've got. Override um, on. Let's say on created first or on update because we'll get that instead. Um, and. We get the delta, so we can always sort of go, well, float delta equals 0, 0.0f. Um, you know what? Var would work there. At this point, I could easily go if delta is greater than 1.0f then we'll do that and then and we will also go delta minus um minus equals 1.0f and then what is format in this so it's control shift i in the linux version isn't it that can't be a var, it needs to be a float. And let's make you private because you can be. And see if that gives us anything more interesting. So we'll build that. I think we should be built by now, and we are. So let's give that a good old fire up. Now, if anyone knows of a better way of um, of doing, what should I say? If, if anyone knows a bit of a, a decent way of getting debug logs out of Skylines, please let me know. And if anyone knows of a way, an easy way, I think that mod should be easily installable. Anyway, we're enabled, so let's try and load back in. And I'm just keeping an eye on CPU usage. It doesn't seem to be stressing too much. Um, by too much, who knows? Uh, let's go um, something like H top here. Yeah, it's it's not hammering it too much. That's fine. I could stick that on a different screen, but I'm not going to bother right now. We're loading in. We are loaded in. I hit F7 for the debug output. Okay, we're paused right now, which is entirely fine. Let's unpause that. And nothing. And that is nothing for a reason. Right, I want to try this hot reloading malarkey now. So, in theory... I could go um, delta plus equals um, real time delta there. Rebuild this whole thing and copy it. And in theory, and I absolutely stress in theory, that should have reloaded the mod. Uh, and that has not reloaded the mod. Okay. Well, it either hasn't or I can't prove it has. So, on the grounds that I know that Brainless struggled to make this work under Linux, I am going to respin the game just in case. So, 
So let's fire this back up. And folks, if you don't know about the channel rewards, then please, please do check the channel point rewards out. Um, I might have to actually drop the price of that one. Let's try this cash gems way. Do you know what? Just for funsies, because I don't think people have got as many channel points as they did. Let's go. Can I not just manage that particular one? No, you have to manage them all. Okay, I'm going to... Well, let's hit continue. Uh, let's edit that. Do you know what? That doesn't need to be that many points. Let's drop it down for now. To that. So, yeah, I've... Uh, Togabit's typing test takes a different amount of points these days. In case people wanted to check them. So, yeah, it's telling us about the Steam Workshop. We know about that, don't we? Oh, yeah, 7,000 7, assets or more tells us we know about the Steam Workshop. I'm just refusing to take the time. Okay, so we're in-game. And we're getting TikToks. Okay, so we have got this thing going TikTok at us. Isn't that amazing? Should, should we just take a second? Can we just take a minute to look? At that magnificent, magnificent intersection. At that beautiful thing. And then over here, another, another stunningly beautiful intersection. However, that's not what we're doing. That rebuild worked. And that rebuild working tells me that the live reloading hasn't. Which is a pity, but sure, it's fine. So we can make this thing go tick-tock. Wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, where's the bike lanes? I don't believe in bikes. I don't believe in... So I'm, not, I'm not one. No, I, I agree that there probably should be, but frankly, I, I am a car person. Okay, so we can add tick-tock. Well, that's, that's lovely. But that really isn't isn't overly interesting is it and of course well if we're talking IL spy let's see what IL spy does for us can we grab something IL spy ask now of course we do have the AUR so if I learn how to type yay try and look for i'll spy it isn't there on its own but if we try and search we can grab i'll spy well we can get the avalonia i'll spy one let's have a look at that and let's not just search but go for it and um, we'll show no diffs because i absolutely trust that that will be fine and dandy whether I'm right or not remains to be seen, but eh, it's fine. And we're going to build using, oh yes, MS build, and what wah, it's just failed on us. What feed does not exist? What has just said no? Um... Let's actually get clone this one then. Uh, get clone. Because it something like aur.archlinux.org slash that uh, ls that let's have a look at the package build so it's saying grab it from git depends on .NET SDK lib ICNS and git um all right let's let's make the package Uh, use SI there. Let's 
so determining projects to restore and again we're not we don't have that feed um we're getting a 404 off of that feed does not exist so sim reader converter doesn't exist so where did we grab that from avalonia isle spy and if we have a glance back in here you are make there uh get there there's the install so there's the package there's the builder source the uh, git name git name is there so let's go and have a look at this you will have il spy you will have avalonian il spy there what is the git tag that we are going for b5.0 dash rc2 what is the tag that is the latest uh do we have any issues uh build fails is this going to be my get anything at all let's have a look at in here see if my get features no so quit that let's have a look in here now uh let's have a look in there unnamed repository okay cd there's a tree in here. Find dot dash name of a low. Uh, yeah, where are I? Actually, have I just got the. No, that, that should be fine. Right, right. Um, Avalonia IL Spy SRC. That would make more sense. And then we jump in here. The sim reader converter repo points to something else but talks about pre-releases for various. Um, so it's a different feed. Okay. We can grab that. Um, Let's have a look at the build file. In fact, have I got rip grep on here? I've got rip grep on. Uh, excuse I, but this needs fixing. Yeah, let's just grab that rip grep. Uh, we're there. Okay. rip grep for that nougat.config um that's in here nougat.config and they're saying that um it's the dotnet my get one so let's grab this is what um This is what Fuberius has suggest uh, as give me a link to something that gives us that. Uh, so, or is it that one to the actual nougat? Maybe let's let's try this though. If I go CD up to there, make package that. Oh, hang on, have I just grabbed them again? I have, haven't I? Like, like a fool. So, nvim. Huh, the the channel points thing is nearly free. Says Minxy Rose. She has over thirty nine k. Then use some. They're there to be used. Give them some stick. 
You know? So that, that kind of failed, didn't it? Uh, da -da. No depths, clean, clean bill. Uh, generate source only. Ignore architecture. I'm confused enough already. That can be more confused. Easy. Uh, sync depths. Okay, so I don't really need that. Don't create, don't check, don't prepare. All the done. Uh, okay. That might be useful. Or. Let's view the code in here and let's have a look at what the NuGet config now says. The NuGet config still says this. When was this last updated then? Three years ago. Okay, if this is multiple years ago, this could be a bit of an issue. Uh, and I'm not going to prat about with that. Have we got a different one that we could go from here? Uh, you're not, a f oh no, you're officially maintained there. Well, I don't believe that that is maintained at all. Because if that were maintained at all, this isn't, I'm not making this up, am I? If this were maintained, then that particular JSON feed, that particular feed, um, should, by rights, exist. And it doesn't. And then with 404 there. So let's do... Um, <coughs> no sign, no. What I want to do is do a make package install that doesn't update anything. So I wonder if that's the answer. So let's MVM... Um, Source nougat config. No source that nougat config. There might be a reason that that didn't work. Okay. Copy. Let's just make sure that that feed exists. That feed does exist. Um, let's do that, and try that, see if it happens, and go, oh, I don't know. What was it? Um, uh, what were we looking for? Hold bear. That looks good to me. So we didn't do the cloney clone, I don't think. And what's the issue again, folks? No, we... No, go away! CI... Uh, CI that, paste that in. Says that. Um, do you know what? Let's just open up that package build. Um, where's the? What's it gonna do? It's gonna say CD into there. So we could do the no prepare, that could be the answer. Uh, CD into get name, source is that. So can I just assert that I have the source and have done with it? Yes, I've got rip grep on. That, that was done immediately. So can I just assert that I already have the source? and say, no, I don't want you to get this. Oh, hang on. No, extract. 
It's there. It's dashy. So in theory, that could work. Yeah, no, Fubarius rip grep is on this machine. That was a huge, huge mess up. Like Microsoft Math. No, Ming Rose, I'm not bringing work into this. And see, what we're seeing now is the best and the worst of the AUR. Packages aren't always up to date, but hey, if you know how to use package files and how to do the AUR stuff, instead of only knowing how to use the AUR through helpers, it's actually really, really good. And it's really handy in case you do need to change anything reasonably quickly. Uh, no, it, it, it's done that a few times, Fuberius, but this time... This time, I assert that that worked, because I can now go Avalonia uh, IL Spy there. And in theory, it fire up somewhere. However, that doesn't look like it has done. So let's go Avalonia IL Spy and see why. And it wants .NET Core 317. Okay, yay, uh, .NET, I want to see if I can get .NET Core 3. Ooh, hang on, I've got 3.1.8, do you know what, let's go .NET Runtime, I don't think 3.1.7 is like the end of the world if we get 3.1.8, and I'm right, Okay, so hopefully I can just do it the other way. Oh, piffle, that was not it. I just go Avalonia, I'll spy like that. And we get it. Do not press this button, this is a test. <laughs> do you know what? I'm not going to. I I'm going to behave. Right, let's open, because we need to... Uh, let's do it in here. Let's go for home. Let's show. Can I show hidden files? Yes, I can. Dot local. Share. Colossal order. No, try that again, shall we? Because it's in dot local share steam. Uh, steam apps, common skylines. Mono managed? Nope. It isn't in mono. Let's try again. Cities data managed. And we'll go for that one, that one, that one. Uh, any others that we necessarily need now? I don't think so. I think those should be enough. And um, we've got them open, and if I now go for a searchy search, can I do searchy search in here? Ooh, C Sharp 8 VS 2019, cool. I can do searchy search, and I can search search for traffic. Um, because what I want to see is in the info view panel, obviously we get to see, oh, hang on, have I just gone wrong? We get the average traffic flow. And that is a label now. Who sets you? Update panel. You are set from the value of vehicle manager instance MLAS traffic flow. Well, I make the assertion that, that is of interest, then, isn't it? So let's grab a copy of that. Let's go back to VS Code and let's go var traffic flow equals, let's say, oh, uh, let's just actually, oh, decompiling. No, didn't want that. Back. Okay, let's do this all again because apparently I couldn't get. What? What's that invert? Rip? 
vehicle manager. Well, let's do it this way. Let's see if we've got that. Analyze you. You are M underscore last traffic flow. Yeah, go to definition is a thing. I was hoping to just do a simple copy, though, at one point. And apparently copy and paste is not as easy as I thought. However, we have this number anyway. We have this. So let's copy the fully qualified name because we can munge about with it a bit. Because it's singleton of vehicle manager dot instance dot. Yeah, last traffic flows there. I mean, wouldn't it be a shame if we could get something like, oh, I don't know. Hey, I wonder how good we, how well we can do this. Let's see if we can use C Sharp and new features in a very, very old style project. Um, current traffic. And then we'll say traffic flow. Uh, that's not looking overly promising because I would have hoped that we would have got that to work. Now let's do the build. Are we using a new enough bit of C Sharpy stuff to make this happen? This could go wrong. Fire this up. Old project, what's this targeting? Uh, Net 3.5. This actually has to target .NET 3.5. So, yeah, oh boy, is it? Th those are words that I use. <laughs> so let's continue game. Let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, I think I know that why, and I think it's that format string. I think it might bomb out on the format string. I don't 100% know it, though. So let's get this all loaded up. And come on. Come on. You can do it. You can. I'm not used to not having loading screen mod here. That is really, really, really weird. Uh, probably ought to. Whoa, obviously that's happening. Go to that. And if I F7 that. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Oh, we can get traffic information, can't we? And let's, you know, let's... Let this potentially jank up a little bit. So it's gone to 84, it's gone to 94. Yeah, well, I wonder why that might be. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? By the way, for anyone that kind of understands why i think that's interesting yeah if you've worked out don't spoil it in chat but if you think you've worked out what this mod is keep it to yourselves you're probably not wrong you've probably got the hint so we've got a logger in threading extension base so that goes on update grabs that Okay, so we know how to do threading extension base. Let's let's just be nice. Let's go and move to logger.fs. And let's suggest that we can No. Save that. You are absolutely in the wrong place. Kill that off. Because I will want to try this whole assembly version stuff in Windows at some point, see if it works over there. Okay, so let's let's commit this in as a uh, get as a um, reading traffic flow per second. Cool. Don't know why I've bothered with that. And if we go 
gh repo create and let's call it ah oh, minxy rose is getting excited uh cities sockets you're gonna be a oh um, public yes created added the remote so if i do a git push set up stream origin main because that's where we're going to push to branch main setup to track remote branch main from origin excellent so that's using our modding framework to quickly get a mod together okay um we've got to still play about with the idea of grabbing of getting sockets running but i mean we have got our own thread now haven't we what does threading extension base do well we can we could do things here we could do an uncreated we could create a game object that loops forever hmm let's go back to the idea of socket programming let's say working with sockets in unity simple socket server in unity ah that's kind of cool let's see what people are saying use thread to do your server lesson so initialize do that get your network code try keep readings uh, okay so that's in void network code and i suspect that if we looked at the network code somewhere you would see a thread something like that yeah that might be a thing and then we'll just whack that in a game object okay so could we do that in a mono behavior is that what mono behaviors are for who knows got your message recorded excellent cas gem uh cas do you want to see a mod do you by the way don't spoil this for people but if you want to see the beginnings of a mod and things that i can get in skylines let's 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 open up skylines with a mod that i've started writing i'll do that i'll be nice <coughs> excuse me i don't even have a mute button because i haven't got my stream deck set up let's continue a game though you won't spoil that excellent kaz because you know i mean people are listening as much as in your halftime interviews you might say we're not going to tell other people I mean, I didn't tell Lemon Pops anything you said. Let's put it that way. I don't think I told you anything that Lemon Pops said. So, yeah. Oh, using 14 gig of RAM so far. 15. It is weird to see this game without loading screen mod. I, I still maintain that that is completely... I, this doesn't look right. I'm not used to almost vanilla. Let's Let's hit f7 and go in the debug console and what's that am i getting the current traffic value out every second and if that if we speed up am i am i reading the current sort of i don't know am i reading that number there you've dragged loading screen mod into your non-workshop builder skylines it's interesting how how those numbers are coming out wonder what you could do with a mod that does that <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know i just thought i'd play about and see what, what what traffic numbers i got so yeah i mean the name of this mod is city socket so wonder um i wonder what what information is going to find itself going where i mean I, again i don't know anything 
I don't know anything at all about this sign. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyone who knows me would know that I don't know. And in fact, that bit was really simple because City Skylines gives you that if you know where to look. My problem was I didn't. Um, well, yeah, if we look at com TCP communication under... Oh, I don't want the Unity classes. I want the actual .NET ones. <coughs> Hi, Polyphony. <laughs> How are you doing? No, it's all right that she knows. Just as long as she keeps keeps a keeps a trap shut. It's all right, Polyphony. If you start spilling the beans, you might lose your mod sword in here. And you don't want to lose your mod sword, do you? Because that would be wrong. Okay, so example Unity chat thing. Let's let's grab some code. Hopefully we can grab code and have a look at it easily. I'll bet I haven't even got something on yet. <laughs> oh, I hadn't even got that on. Um, all right, so we'll go CD into uh, downloads. There you go. <laughs> you can have your mod sword back when you learn how to behave, Polyphony. She won't listen, will she? <laughs> What are, you, what are you going to do now, Polyphony? I'm not Kaz. You haven't got me under you. <laughs> Freedom! Yeah, I must admit, I have felt that many times. Why am I talking to a sodding Twitch bot? <laughs> yeah, because I know you need it back for tomorrow night as well. I know you need your sword back for tomorrow night, so there you go. Now just behave yourself. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. Unzip. What did we call it? Was it Unity? Yes, it was. CD into that. Bring up another VS Code window, because why not? Because, yeah, we've got assets. One of those assets will be a TCP test server that we can steal an idea from, and they're doing it in a mono behavior. Oh, look, all that lovely code to steal. Because, of course, game object... Well, I wonder what the life cycle of said game object would be. I don't know, but... Hmm. I think this is stealable. What's the meta thing? Eh, not of interest. Search marketplace. Dot meta files. What's a meta file? Oh, okay. Could get it. Can't be bothered. Uh, to the an to answer that question of what original code is, Kazgem, scary. Because if it's original code, I don't know if it works or not. And more to the point, I'm sort of um, I I'm responsible for it. What does a mono behavior mean, right? Mono behavior is. Oh, go. Can I do a go to definition, please? Pretty please. Okay, let me go across to our project because I think we've got references to it. Don't need reflection in there. Uh, let's create one for quickly. Let's go public class socket. Server is a mono behavior. Monorail pylon AI. There is AI around monorail pylons. People, that is a new one on me. So, what's a mono behavior? Well, we can quickly have a look. And it is. 
essentially it is I, you see i don't know unity very well in fact why am i even doing it this way why don't i just go uh mono be behavior like this and it is essentially a unity script so anything that a unity script anything that is a unity script derives from it yeah kaz still don't have a bot run but enjoy your lurk and remember folks we love our lurkers around here now all wonderful people well hopefully most of them are i think but essentially you can attach a mono behavior to a game object so you can attach you get an object in a scene in unity you then attach behaviors and attach things to it so you can attach a material to it you can attach i think this is how it works i am probably 99 percent convinced completely and utterly making this up because it smells like i could be making this nonsense up so do i know what makes the behavior mono right mono was the, mono is the runtime that unity either still runs on or did run on so dot net runtimes it's a whole load of nonsense well it's, it's wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff essentially microsoft.net framework was not open the spec for c sharp at the very least was open and the spec for il was open so some guys including i believe miguel De, uh miguel De Zaka, i can't De Casa, i can't remember how to pronounce his now. i do apologize miguel but they came up with an alternative dotnet runtime called mono that worked on linux mac windows way before microsoft had even heard of open so well they'd heard of open source it was a swear word back in those days <clears throat> so this is way before dotnet core right now so that's that's kind of the history of that what i'm wondering is can i just do this can i go copy you uh create a new file called tcp test server or yeah tcp test server why they call the class after their runtime um i did just i don't know unity very well believe me this is um something that i know nothing about all i know is that if i do that i can move that to where it needs to be then I can go and paste all that in there. And we have a socket. So what happens? I can go exclamation mark ping. Okay, so we've got a very, very basic what's called mono behavior here. Uh, what port are we going to listen on? 8052. Okay. <clears throat> That's a mono behavior. So in theory, when we go back to here and we go on level loaded, why don't we go, oh, we need the override version. Override on level lo loaded. Um, let's say var game object equals new game object. So we're going to create a game object that's got nothing in it. Again, this is all completely... I could be very wrong here. Let's call it a, the socket server game object. Let's use Unity Engine there. Then let's say game object dot add component to that. That's going to have the socket... Uh, the TCP test server there and in theory that means that we should get a socket server running now um linux connect to socket 
from command line. It's netcat. Is it? Uh, or so cat. Or dev TCP host port. Wow. Okay. Either way, let's let's fire up Skylines. Well, let's build this here mod and see if we have a mod running. See if we compile, see if it all works. Let's then go into the game, fire it up, and see if it happens. So hit play. Empty mug of coffee, but you know what? I think I've had enough coffee for one night. So let's... Uh, let's go and have a look somewhere else let's go um and get i don't know a drink of something else that will do <clears throat> let's hit continue game now this isn't a standard hook in so i don't know how well this is going to work But we can test the behavior of the rest of the mod anyway, which we'll probably do first. And then I'll try and test the behavior of this. So let's load in. Let's get ourselves in the game. What's everyone got planned for this weekend, by the way? And will, will you be watching Intersections in a snap? where talented people and myself will be building intersections okay so we've got the rest of the mod working that's good so if i flick back to this screen um stick a that there i suppose yeah it'll do for now uh yay dash yes so cat so cat that should do me so cat uh let's help on that whoa 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 the dress is wrong did you know what net cat as well and we'll have the gnu version i'll do and see So how does one net cap? It tells you what it does, it doesn't tell you how. So net cap. Suppose I could oh by the way. Is it called bat cat? Or is it just called bat? Called bat. Cool. How to use net cat commands? Excellent. So create the servery thing. Uh, make sure to NC localhost 8052, did we say the port was? Did I say that? Was I correct? 8052, so I'm slightly worried that that hasn't done anything. Um, do I have to do that? Invalid port specification. Um, launching shells, man, netcat, uh, netcat dash out, um, dash t, it's TCP, okay, addresses. 
intervals, uh, telnet. Okay, so what is the dash L? Protocol interface, basic startups. Uh, the most common mode is the connect mode. The listen mode is there as well. And there's tunnel. So... Netcat options hostname port. I don't know how to use Netcat. This might have been a bad move, you know. Netcat. Well, we can do HTTP requests with... Um, NC local. Yeah, I've got NC local host and the number. And I get nothing back. So, have I got this wrong, or is it just not going to work? Because I assume that we're listening. Don't you know why? It might help if we if we did do if we called anything on this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's just drop you down there and drop you. Oh gosh, hang on. It's all gone very, very wrong. Um, in fairness, that's more viable. We haven't. We've we've created the um. Yeah, could add the dash v for some reporting. Yeah, okay. And c dash v. I think I know what the problem is now. Yeah, connection refused. The reason is we never actually start the server. See, we add the component, but we never actually use it. So let's go to here and see what does that. 200 IQ. Yeah, that's, that's the unfortunate part here. So test client there, test client GUI's there. And of course clients can connect to the server, yada yada yada. Um and all those dot asset files, I don't know how to drive those. But we've got a mono behavior here that we need to fire up because I don't think that this will have a constructor, will it? So we use that for initialization. So let's go var test server equals that should be var not ver. What do you actually return? You return. Aha. Hang on. Let's play the big brain plays here and say, well, we'll do that gives us one of those and we'll go test server dot start server I wonder number one I wonder if it will work and number two I wonder if the hot reload works I mean I really don't think the hot reload will have worked and I'm going to assert that that's not the case. So let's just kill this off to desktop. Do you know what? Instant return to desktop needs to be in this um, no workshop folder as well. I need to drag a couple of mods across just to make this better because I just want this to crash out rather than closing nicely because frankly I don't care. Never have done. Uh, let's fire it up again. Let's see what we get. I mean, this is one reason I don't do too much mod development on stream, is look at this debug cycle. I mean, I could be a smarty pants now and run like a 60 second ad. But I'm not going to. I don't think it'll take a full minute to load this up. 
So let's hit continue. Although that's something I ought to start doing is timing how long these this game takes to load up and start running ads. Now, I do not run ads for me. For my money, I would much rather not run a single advert all stream. However, with some of the things that um, Twitch has been doing... Oh, I do apologise. Why do people ugly? Um, thank you very much for the follow, even if I'm not a big fan of your name. You know, wide peep o yeah, I. But thank you very much for the follow anyway. Right, let's see what happens now. So we are loaded up. That proves it. I'm going to let the simulation run a little bit, and I'm going to try that netcat again. And we are connected. If I go ping there. Then I get unknown command exclamation mark ping. Um, data client connected. So this is working in JSON. And let's let's kind of prove that client messages there, which is get from there. Um, Oh, it might be that it just doesn't know the command with the backslash n on the back of it. So we can process the message and we'll get unknown command whatever. So how do we make that ping go through? How do I do that and send it on the socket without sending the, um, what's it? I mean, I could do that. Aha! I'm just going to do it with a space. And we get the ping back. So it goes ping and then something. All right, so ping something. So we now have... That's interesting. We now have a socket server running within... Um, and it's splitting on spaces. Okay, we've got we've got this running within the game. Okay. So I've got to do it now, haven't I? Bang traffic goes to get all of that. Might actually remember to stick the brake in. Um, what? Split zero dot trip. There. I think you're probably right. But I mean, a lot of this will get rewritten. What I do think would be funny, though, is instead of having it as that, let's have it as, um, oh, I don't know, uh, but well let's let's kind of grab all this back let's go back to this logger and see if we can get this see if we get access to it uh do we can we is this going to just be lovely and wonderful as in can i go um uh i don't know traffic low percent is it just going to be that nice okay so we'll kill that cat we'll do the build again i'll flick across to here quit the game and reload it so instant return to desktop at some point, I'll bother with this. But yeah, it's kind of a shame that Kaz is lurking. He might, he might be finding this bit interesting. So let's hit play again. Let's 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 give this poor computer some some stick. Let's hope that it takes it nicely. 
Okay, time for a continued game and a supper drink. And I think if we manage to get this working, this will do us for one stream. Then we'll get committed in and we'll uh, we'll hand a raid on somewhere at some point. So let's go Twitch directory following. Cool, that brings us to that. So I'm just going to start looking for who's on who's online doing what. Ready for when we uh, when we do decide to do it. What? Yeah, yeah. Hello, back, back. So we're getting traffic numbers. It's 82. Pretty static because we're not doing anything of interest. And if I go bang ping here. It'll pong back. So if I go traffic here, gives me eighty-two percent. That is excellent, Fuberius. It is a competition. It is held at. It's held over here. Um, Twitch TV slash cities in a snap. Go across to that URL, Fuberius. You'll get links to all sorts of fun things. Uh, you'll get to see what it's all about. I'm in it tomorrow night. It starts at 8 p.m. UK time. I think with this working, we will start wrapping up uh, in that we can get traffic numbers and socket working. So given that's a thing, let's push that out. Uh, and I think with that, we ought to start wrapping up this here stream. Because that was um, more, su more successful in a way than I thought it would be. Right, who is streaming next? Who are we going to go and whisper a swift hello to? Oh, I think I have an answer. I think we need to go and say hello to a fellow programmer and a fellow City Skyline streamer. I think with that, thank you very much. I'm going to send a raid across to Outfrost. Please, please, please stay with us if you can. Uh, join the raid. That would be much appreciated. Spam those yappy dog emotes if you have them in chat. And I will see you all tomorrow night at 8, well, at 8 p.m., probably a little bit before. And I'll be back on Windows by then. Thank you all very much and good night. Let's, well, let's set this raid going first. Before I say all the good nights. Uh, hello, McFly. Did that raid go through? Raid. Out Frost. He's got the whole name now, hasn't he? Yeah. It did then. Right, please say hello to Out Frost when we get across there. Thank you very much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.